Hi, welcome to Chiltern Heritage Orchards. We're looking at the four tools that we really use here to run our orchard and to maximise yield. And as you can see on our little list, we start with cultivar and then we talk about rootstock and pruning, spacing and nutrition. And these are really critical things because we're regenerative here and we're organic and we think with the systems that we use that we can at least equal or maybe exceed the yields of conventional high input, high intensity orchards. And one of the great things about our system is how adaptable it is. We have so many different cultivars, we have a very long season of uh, production, and we're gonna talk a little bit about how we manage all that. And first of all, when we're talking about cultivar choice, that really works in a number of ways. We've got many different types of fruits. We've got apples, pears, plums, damsons, green gauges, um, medlars, azeroles, service trees, many different things, lots of different types of fruits, which gives us a wide choice. It also makes it very difficult for bugs and diseases to really thrive because they've got so many different things to encounter. But we've also got within those groups different cultivars selected for their historical success, their ease of growth, their season of use, their hardiness, uh, their great flavour, which is one of our key things, and a long track record of being sold in markets locally, because that's really what we're for. So that cultivar choice works very well for us. And the second thing that we work with are the rootstocks. We use generally vigorous rootstocks to drive the trees, to make them cytokine indominant, which makes them much healthier, um, producing fruit at an early age, and allows us to to run them as narrow canopy trees, which is so important because that increases the light levels, it allows early healing of any wounds or pruning cuts, ripening of fruit, and generally very little inter-row or between-row spacing, which maximizes the yield, makes it very efficient. And you can see the spacing, our third idea, is close. We have two meters between the trees and four meters between the rows. And that gives you almost 100% leaf coverage when the trees reach their um, mature heights, which will be between four and five meters for most trees. So that's very, very important because it means that we can put in an awful lot of trees, perhaps anything up to 600 per acre, which is a very high intensity level. But you need to be at that level if you, need to, if you want to get the yields up. Um, and we also use nutrition as a great tool. Nutrition is absolutely vital in regenerative growing. We use basalt dust, which is high in very available nutrients. We don't use nitrates because that would poison the soil. It would certainly um, eradicate most of the beneficial bacteria and fungi that we rely on. And we use um, seaweed foliar sprays, critically at key times in the year. At the beginning of the year, after blossom at fruit set, um, then again later on as the fruits start to fill and then twice more through the season so we have uh, a very late feed which we've just done and then we'll start again with the rock dust now. And those feeds have a huge impact on the growth and the uh, health of the trees and you can see how healthy the leaves are. That has a massive impact on their immune systems and the fact that we don't spray with, bact with uh, bactericides or fungicides or we and we don't use any insecticides. As a result, we have much better flavours, absolutely vital. So that's our system, and that's the system that we've been using now for five or six years, and we're really enjoying the results.